you're welcome back to the channel thank you for my returning subscribers if you're new here you're welcome my name is Esther I'm a registered nurse and midwife I deliver content for nurses student nurses and for others for your enlightenment and enjoyment I bet you you will enjoy your time here so remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So, let's get started. Today, we are going to be talking about HELP syndrome. What is HELP syndrome? How can you diagnose it? What are the signs and symptoms? Preventive measures and the possible outcome. Health syndrome is a serious complication of high blood pressure during pregnancy. It is potentially life-threatening and it occurs after the 20th week of pregnancy. But sometimes it can occur earlier in pregnancy or rarely in postpartum. Postpartum is after delivery. Some experts say that it is a complication of preeclampsia. Preeclampsia occurs in pregnant women. And it is a condition where their blood pressure is high. So, health syndrome is a condition affecting pregnant women and it is associated with high blood pressure. Some people don't know that they have health syndrome. And that is why I want to talk about this topic today. Because prompt treatment is very important for reducing the complication that comes with health syndrome because health, health syndrome comes with serious complications affecting the unborn baby and the mother especially the unborn baby because it can lead to premature delivery of the baby and it can also cause serious complications for the mother so what is health syndrome health syndrome that's what health is an acronym derived from three major conditions that are analyzed in the lab results. H is the hemolysis, AL is elevated liver enzymes, and LP is low platelet counts. The three conditions are hemolysis, elevated liver enzymes, and low platelet counts. So, what is hemolysis? Hemolysis is breakdown of red blood cells. In health syndrome, the red blood cells are broken down very fast and very quickly. And so, this results in anemia. That is, the blood level is low. The elevated liver enzymes is a condition that affects the liver. The liver becomes injured and start malfunctioning. It will start producing abnormal enzymes into the blood. Then, the low platelet count. Platelets are components of the blood that are responsible, responsible for blood clotting. When the platelet is low, that means you can bleed easily. So you can see that these three conditions are deadly. That is why prompt diagnosis of this condition is very important and it will be life-saving for the mother and for the unborn baby. What are the signs and symptoms of health syndrome? There is a general feeling of unwell, there is headache, blood vision, visual problems, there is sudden swelling of your face and hands, and then there is sudden and excessive weight gain. There is pain in your upper, upper abdomen. And there is also pain while you breathe in deeply. In rare cases, you may also have confusion and then seizures. That is when our people take, most of our people take action. When the woman starts seizing. Confusion is you start talking irrationally and then seizures is convulsion and this is a medical emergency 
and these seizures can lead to serious complications to the mother and the unborn child. So that is why early diagnosis is very important to prevent serious complications of HELP syndrome. What are the risk factors for HELP syndrome? Uh, the cause of HELP syndrome is unknown, but there are other risk factors that can increase your incidence of having it. The greatest one, or the most important one, is preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is elevated blood pressure during pregnancy. Other risk factors may include being over 35 years of age, being African American, being obese or overweight, liver problems and kidney problems, diabetes mellitus, having previous pregnancies, having high blood pressure, history of preeclampsia. Studies have shown that the incidence of recurrence of HELP syndrome is 18%. How is HELP syndrome diagnosed? Your doctor can order a series of tests to diagnose this condition. He can also carry out physical examination. Your liver is palpated for tenderness, for swelling, and for pain. This may indicate liver problem. Your blood pressure is also measured. Other tests like blood tests to evaluate your red blood cells for anemia and platelets is also carried out. Urine test is also done to see whether there is abnormal protein in your urine. And an MRI is carried out to check if there is uh, bleeding in your liver. If your condition is mild, some may recommend blood transfusion to treat anemia and low platelet counts, magnesium sulfate to prevent seizures, antihypertensive to control blood pressure, corticosteroids to protect your baby's lungs in case your baby is delivered prematurely. If the condition is severe, you are admitted. And your doctor may recommend some prenatal tests to evaluate the condition of your baby in utero, inside your uterus. That your baby's heart is beating well, and your baby is growing well, how your baby is coping with stress and uh, the blood flow of your baby inside your uterus. You may be given medications to induce labor if your doctor determines that immediate delivery is necessary. In some cases, a caesarean section may be performed, but your doctor usually weighs it because there, if there is low platelet count, it may result in excessive bleeding. What is the outcome for HELP syndrome? Most women with this condition will recover quickly without complications. If after their baby is delivered but the imp most impact is on the baby because most babies are delivered prematurely and so they come up with complications that are associated with prematurity babies who are born before 37 weeks of pregnancy are usually monitored carefully in the hospital before they are discharged home complications associated with health syndrome include liver rupture kidney failure, acute respiratory failure, pulmonary edema or accumulation of fluids in the lungs, excessive bleeding during delivery, placenta abruptio, that is detachment of the placenta from the uterine wall before the baby is born. This is a serious medical emergency, stroke and death. So early treatment is the key to the prevention of these complications. But sometimes some complications can occur even if there is early treatment. But generally, early treatment can reduce complications. Prevention of health syndrome. Health syndrome cannot be prevented because generally the cause is unknown. But you can reduce your risk of complications by living a healthy lifestyle. Eat well and do regular exercises. You can eat well by taking food rich in whole grains, fruits and vegetables and lean milk. You can also do exercises regularly. This can help to prevent your risk for complications. 
if you have risk factors regular antenatal clinic or antenatal checkup is very important so that early detection of the signs and symptoms of health syndrome can be made okay. it is also important that you contact your health provider immediately you are experiencing signs and symptoms of health syndrome because early detection can help to prevent or lower the risk of health syndrome thank you very much for watching if you have questions uh, contributions please Drop your comments down in the description box below. Do not forget to like, share, and comment.